It's called the silent killer, and most of you have never heard about it. It's radon, a colorless, odorless gas that seeps into nearly every house in central and southwest Virginia. In fact, our area has some of the highest concentrations of radon in the Commonwealth. And tonight, 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is working for you to explain how this silent killer has devastated a local family. She joins us tonight with that story. Lindsay? Guys, that family tells me that they had never even heard of radon until it was too late, and now they want to raise awareness about the dangers of radon and hope their story serves as a warning for other families. This is the last summer that we had. Looking back We're through old family photos. My dad, my mom, and three of us. <laughs> Sisters Angela and Tina are flooded with memories. You want to be sad, but then... I'm very thankful that I had a good mother who raised me well. It's been almost nine years to the day since they lost their mother, Ginger Collins. She was just 58 years old. It was April of 2010. Um, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. She didn't live very long. Uh, it was a hard, a hard few months. What stumped them was that their mom didn't smoke. She never smoked ever? No, never. Tina and Angela's grandmother also died from lung cancer at a young age. We kind of thought maybe it was a hereditary thing. Until Tina went to her doctor. He was like, Tina, it was radon. And I'm like, what is radon? Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that comes from rocks and dirt in the ground and escapes into the air everywhere. But high levels trapped in your home can be dangerous. You cannot detect it with your senses. It doesn't cause any immediate symptoms either. So it's very, very easy for people not to even be aware that they're being exposed to radon. Kevin Stewart with the American Lung Association says radon can attach to particles in the air, which when breathed in can stick to your lungs and over time lead to cancer. We know that it can be in as short as five or 10 years of exposure can be enough to put people at higher risk. When people do find that they're experiencing symptoms from lung cancer, uh, it's often too late to properly treat. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. behind smoking. The Environmental Protection Agency says radon kills 21,000 people across the country each year. 700 people die from radon right here in Virginia. The EPA recommends keeping radon levels in your home under two. But remember, no level of radon is safe. Anything four or higher puts you at a greater risk. Moms were 18. Nearly half of homes in central and southwest Virginia have high levels of radon. Certain spots test higher than others. Giles County is a high risk zone. So I had my house tested and you had yours tested and everybody's was high. Everybody's radon was high in the county. This Parisburg neighborhood is where generations of the Collins family were born and raised. My mom was a homemaker. She stayed home all the time. And my dad worked out of town a lot. So I, I really feel like that's how maybe he's avoided it because he wasn't in the house constantly like she was. And it's just really scary. Today, thanks to a local radon mitigation specialist, their home's radon levels are under control. And these sisters hope by sharing their mom's story, they could save a life. And that through all this, we were able to help people and let them know. She would be happy. Yeah, she would be happy. Happy. The only way to know if your home has high radon levels is to test for it. You can buy inexpensive do-it-yourself kits online at home improvement stores, or you can hire a licensed professional. The EPA recommends you test your home every two years during the winter when radon levels are the highest because we keep our windows and doors shut so there's less ventilation. Now, tomorrow night, I'll introduce you to a Roanoke woman who says not testing her home for radon was one of the biggest mistakes of her life. If you want to learn more about radon, how to test for it, and to find out if you live in a high-risk zone, we have all of that information and more posted on our website, WSLS.com. Live in the studio, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.